ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 27th day of March. James Spann here, and once again, it's a complex, dual, severe weather flood threat we'll have to talk about this morning. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots at 5 a.m., Look at downtown Jasper where rain is falling. This time, no severe weather on our end of the state. All of the severe weather is down south. In Shelby County, there's the view there coming from the campus of the University of Montevallo where a good steady rain is falling and is pouring down at Gulf Shores, but the uh, bigger storms have moved on to the east now over the Florida Panhandle. Well, there's the uh, big picture this morning. We've got a blizzard going on out in Colorado and parts of Kansas and the Texas and Oklahoma Panhandles. A big mesoscale convective system rolling through the deep south. And uh, again, we'll have to see how the air mass recovers from the morning convective system for the next round of convection tonight and tomorrow. Here's a look at the uh, local radar this morning. And again, nothing severe up this way. That's at 5 o'clock, just a big old mass of rain falling. Uh, the severe weather down south, there's a look at a tornado watch until 10 for southeast Alabama and parts of the Florida Panhandle in advance of that big squall line. Now, that will include uh, Dothan and Panama City Beach. Look at the uh, convective outlooks uh, today. Now, the moderate risk has been taken out, and I think that's right because it sure looks like the biggest problem could be tomorrow and not tonight as this whole thing evolves. There's a slight risk, again, from uh, roughly the Dallas area all the way over to say, Phoenix City and Columbus, Georgia, including most all of Alabama. The higher probabilities are centered from Shreveport to Montgomery, roughly along U.S. Highway 80. And the higher probabilities are in the 30% range. Now, tomorrow we've got a slight risk for all of Alabama in points east, but look at the probabilities here, 45%. That's a moderate risk. They just opted not to put that up now because of the questions involving air mass recovery and timing. But most of Alabama is in a 45% probability tomorrow. That is very significant. And again, at some point, there, there is inevitably going to be a problem. And again, we've got to solve the mystery of how we recover from the uh, situation this morning. Now, obviously, the other problem is flooding. Uh, this this is the uh, QPF chart, and this is counting the rain that started last night. And this is suggesting a 10-inch bullseye near Fort Walton Beach with additional amounts up this way in the 3-inch range. And remember, we've already had 3 inches of rain in many areas, so this will be a storm total of 5 to 6 inches. And again, we could be getting into some flooding problems late tonight and tomorrow. Here's a look at our watch warning map. At the moment, we've got no flood watches here, but they surround us, and I'm sure they'll go back up uh, this afternoon. And look at the blizzard warning from Denver almost down to Oklahoma City. That is a major, major late March snowstorm out there, biggest of the season for Denver in the front range. So while we deal with the flooding and the severe weather, they are being hammered with wind and snow. Look at the modeling here. This is at 500 millibars, the OZGFS at noon today. There's your trough to the west tomorrow. It begins to go negative tilt and approaches. And again, that is a classic spring severe weather setup right there. Let's look at the surface chart. This is at noon today. The main surface low is out there near Fort Worth. And again, you can see a secondary wave passing through here with that big batch of rain and storms. The rain should taper off later today by midday. And uh, tonight at midnight, we've got the uh, surface load that seems to be developing near Vicksburg and Greenville, Mississippi. And at this point, that first batch of storms is out of here. We've got the Gulf wide open and the atmosphere is in the process of recharging. And the GFS is a little slower here uh, with this. So, but again, I think we'll have to watch things carefully this evening, but it's beginning to look like we'll have to adjust our window. We've talked about 6 p.m. this evening until noon tomorrow. I think we might have to look at midnight tonight until 6 p.m. tomorrow now. 
Uh, there's a look at midday Saturday, the surface low near Memphis, and uh, we are in the action at that point. Uh, can we have a tornado outbreak Saturday morning? Sure. Uh, typically, your classic time is late afternoon, evening, and early night, but you know, you all know we've had severe weather at that time of the day. But the dynamic support, quite frankly, it's not that important this time. And then Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, the surface low is deepening. It's up near Paducah, and the storm's beginning to move over into Georgia. And look at the snow for Missouri and Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas going on here. So it's really shifting into a more of a Saturday kind of event here. But still, we're going to have to watch things carefully tonight. And then Sunday, we're dry slotted. Uh, uh, should be a partly sunny day. Monday of next week will be dry. Here comes the next system to the uh, northwest of us. And then Tuesday, that surface low moves up to uh, near Milwaukee. And a cold front comes in here, but really... This doesn't look like a, a severe weather threat at this point. We'll go to Wednesday. The front just kind of stalls out around here. And then Thursday of next week, here comes another strong trough. At the surface on Thursday, a low develops near Shreveport. And then Thursday evening, this is 6 o'clock, the surface low deepens rapidly near Memphis. And then by midnight, that thing really bombs out, and that suggests a severe weather deal Thursday night of next week. Now, obviously... It's too early to resolve the tales. We're still trying to resolve the tales of this one we're in now. But just be aware, Thursday, Thursday night, maybe Friday, something like that, we could see some problems. And then by midday Friday, it's on to the east. Four days later, another trough lifting north of us, maybe another severe weather problem there. So, again, very active weather continues, and we'll be here watching it all very carefully in coming days. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. Next video is scheduled for 3.30 or so today. And, of course, if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.